Hello, so I wanted to make a really quick video to show you how to use arguments in the command line as well as flags, which are the same thing, in a Node application. So the first thing you're going to do is create a Node application. I've already done that here um, and started an app.js. Completely blank, so uh, it's super, super simple here. Now, all you have to do is access the process object, which is built into Node, and there's a, there's a um, property on that object called argv, and it's an array of arguments you pass through in the console. So I'm going to go ahead and console log the entire array so you can see what's happening. Perfect. So if I run that, you can see there's already two arguments in there. Those two are going to be default in any node application when you run it, regardless of whether you specify. Now, if you can specify more, so actually, I'm going to, oops, let's leave that there and let's say dash dash dev now you can see there's a third one coming through is dash dash dev so with that you can say let's get rid of this console log up here whoops get rid of this console log and do an if so let's say if process dot stupid autocorrect process dot thing all right <laughs> process dot argv dot includes dash dash dev then let's console log console log running in dev mode otherwise let's log running in production mode perfect so now let's run this without the dev flag and you see running in production mode now if we run it with the dev flag see running in dev mode Perfect. And the other thing you can do is you can loop through these something like this. Um, this may not be the most efficient way to do it, but get my gets my point across here. So you can loop through the arguments here and say say if process dot argvi contains or sorry dot includes. Um, let's say um, ID, well, dash dash ID. Then we're going to go ahead and console log pro the ID, which I'm going to do is process dot argv um, I dot split, because I'm going to separate the value in the flag by an equal sign. I'm going to split it and do one. So that will give you the value of the ID. So let's run node app.js dash dash dev dash dash ID equals one, two, three, four, five. And there you see it. You can get the ID right here uh, logged out, which is being logged here. And you can see that we're in dev mode being logged up here. So that's the entire explanation. It's super, super simple. So I hope that helped and happy coding.